you're getting married. When were you thinking of? Eight weeks this Saturday. Right, well, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Would like you to be there, both of you. We could uh, at least make it a double head eh? so not tonight Are you sure have you day tomorrow it's your loss I'll ring you through the weekend I'll ring you it's easier as you like Alan Tate. Bearing in mind your previous convictions, I have no option but to make the sentence a custodial one. You will go to prison for a term of 15 months, and I sincerely hope this teaches you a lesson. Officer, take him down. Kenneth Norman Oakley, you have been found guilty of aiding and abetting in relation to the aforementioned charges. Your criminal record is nothing short of shocking, and this court takes a very grim view of the habitual offender. The court sentences you to 12 months imprisonment. However, in the light of some, I can only say, surprising testimonials on your behalf, the court is willing on this one occasion to show leniency. Sentence is suspended for two years. Thanks for that letter, what you writ. Saved my horse. Once again. Don't thank me. Thank Mr. Gillespie. Although on second thoughts, you better not thank him either. He doesn't know he's written it yet. Cheer up, man, you're free. Oh, no, it's, it's great, but... But what? Well, I, I wasn't expecting to be. Free Lake. So? I didn't think it would bother you. I mean, you're hardly ever here anymore, are you, really? You're always round at Gosforth with your new bird, Sandy. I hardly see anything of you. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'll have to buy it all back. That's if it's still there. To get the bus, I flog me car. I don't suppose. Uh... All right, never mind. I'm gone. So, what do you think about it then? I think it's great, but just what your mum needs. Yeah, that's what she says. We'll see. Why, don't you? Listen, love, it's very brave of your mum to go for it one more time after what she went through with me. And it's partly for your benefit, you know. You've got to give her plenty of support. Hey, it's not going to make any difference between us three. Things will be just exactly the same. So I'll see you just as infrequently as we've always done. Now, now. Come on, we'll ride back through the deep.
So, have you got a boyfriend yet? Don't get started on that one, please. Hey, I'm only asking. That's all I ever hear from anyone. Have I, is there? On and on and on. Honestly, I get sick. Hang on, Pet. Listen. Follow me. Hey, bastard! Stay here! Tights. It's not the first time, unfortunately. Four other attacks reported in the last six months. And what are we doing? Well, we've had our people in the past, but it's difficult to do anything effective without a heavy presence. Then you run the risk of upsetting all the various civil liberties organizations, Big Brother, etc. Well, that's tough shit. They'll just have to be upset. It's not that simple, Spender. You know that. Well, at least he hasn't killed anybody yet. I suppose we should be thankful for that. How do you know that he hasn't? Well, no. What I meant was... My kids walk in this park. Come on, girl. Clocked anybody yet? Second and all that carry on. Bastards like that what gets men a bad name. Where's the rest of the furniture? Oh, well, this is it so far. Watch your moves, just in case I need to... I'll be round at Keith's. Unless I hit pier dirt here. It's tough shit, that one. I think he views it as an occupational hazard. What about you? I heard you'd gone bust. I did, yeah. You're not exactly striking me as destitute, Sydney. Oh, no. It was purely a, a, an evasive move. So what are you doing to earn a crust? Hey, I've got a, a little, little bruise. Would I hear about it? I missed a spell yesterday in the big house by Fanny, sir. I'll give that one a body swerve, I think, Sydney. This is completely legit. I know it took me a while to get sort of, of used to it. But look, do you want me to run it up your flagpole, pal, or what? You know, a couple of paints over here, would you, mate? That's very evocative. It's for a tampon commercial. Ah, oh, you decided to give it a shot then, eh? The old jingles carry on. They've been pestering us for a long time. You know that. And I always pissed them off. But 
There comes a point when you have to say to yourself, hey, no one else is ringing, man. I think it's a great idea. Look, it's anonymous and it's well paid, so it suits me down the ground. I hear you, man. You don't need to convince me. I know, I know. I think I need to convince me. Look, you had a load of fun for a lot of years, and you scored for a bit of buns. But that's history, man. And life goes on. You gotta do something. So what's it gonna be, hmm? A summer season on the holiday camp. Stop, through. stop. I'm convinced. What do you want to see me about, anyway? Have a listen to that, would you? Time since I've heard this, mate. Quality's a bit ropey. Is it an old cassette? It's new. You're being bootlegged. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, well, it confirms a certain cachet of desirability, doesn't it? And think of the hallowed ranks that you're joining. Bob Dylan. Madonna, the Trogs. Where'd you get this? I bought it off a bloke in the central station. Well, he sold it to you, and he didn't know who you were. <laughs> That's very funny. Isn't it? Well, have you been on to the folks at PRS? Not yet. I thought maybe he's there. Uh... Maybe I could check it out first. Well, before wheeling the big guns. Oh, cheers. Can I hang on to this? I hear you've got a new girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah. I heard it was serious. Yeah? Yeah. Could be. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, man. Where's the fire? You're from the agency. I'll not be a minute. Just one last check. Well, that's a big improvement. Is that you? For it's all. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Keith. Girl on the motorbike, eh? Yeah. Great for round ten. Albert, have you uh, got time for a coffee? Nope. Screaming for your tapes. More than that yesterday. What's new? I envy you. Being able to make wonderful sounds, just snatching them from somewhere out of the air. Most of us just autopilot. Don't you work? No, it's not. Don't say that. See you sometime, then. I hope so. Look, it's on Beagle, man. Can't lose. You sure this is not going to queer your pitch, Sid? Give me a cut in. Look, it's a big enough pipe for us all to have a slice. So where are we going now? Well, we're going to uh, uh, see Peter the Hare. Peter the Hare? Yeah. I, I thought he was dead. No, he always kind of looks, you know, sort of sickly. He, he, he never sees daylight, man. He's still painting. Aye, uh, hey, but his dog had all of his budgies, you know. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. It's rather sad, isn't it? Hey, but don't you mention it to him. You're allowed to traumatise the bastard. And he has these kind of moody swings, you know. Enough said, Sid. Sound, son. Sound.
I think it needs a bit more glue. It's, uh, well, it's hard to say, really, Peter, isn't it, Sid? Yeah. No. Mm. Mm. Oh, the uh, same arrangement as before, Peter? Aye, go on then. Cheers, Peter. Hey, and I won't bump you, you know. Oh, I know that stick. Aye, right. Do you think I'm looking a bit pale? Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that, Peter, no. What uh, would you say then? Why, well, it's just your. Uh, your. You're not dark like, isn't it? Aren't you? Not. I'll see you both next week then. Yeah, well, next week, Peter. No bother. Yeah, cheers, Peter. And I, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your budgies. Day for furnishings, would I? Come and look at this little lot. What's this? It's my new livelihood. I'm dealing Tom. Oh. Hey, no, 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 look, before you hit the roof, it's all straight, kosher, on the level. Really? Yeah, I buy the Tom wholesale off this block, which is half the ticket price. I sell it to my customers at 30% off the ticket price, which is 20% in my pocket. Money for all drop, eh? And who exactly do you reckon your customers are going to be? Hmm? I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but there is a bit of a recession on out there. I've already got that sorted. You have? Yeah. I'm going to have, like, cocktail parties. Aileen, uh, you know that lassie from the chemist? Well, she's going to organise them. She supplies the gaff, I supply the bevy. The gelt will be on show. I'll give her a bung for anything she shifts, sort of commission basis. Where did you get your initial investment? Me what? How did you pay for this lot? Well, I didn't. You didn't? No, no, that's the beauty of it. Nothing up front. I just pay for it as I flog it. Hey, check out those prices, kidda, eh? Anything there you fancy for your new flame? No, thank you. It's probably hot enough to burn a hole in her skin. Who's been filling your head with all this cockamamie nonsense? It's not nonsense. Bumped into Fat Sid in the pub. You're not telling me you got this stuff off Fat Sid, are you? You've never liked him, have you? It's not his fault he smells. It's glandular, apparently. Anyway, it's not Sid's guilt. Well, whose guilt is it? I don't think you know. Peter the hair. Funny eyes. Keeps budgies. Well, not anymore. They all got eaten by the dog. He's still a bit touchy. Now, look, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you're a grown up. Sort of. But one thing that stuff is not living in here. Fort us, Slugger. Very unflattering. Good night. Good night. Evening, pets. Oh. Ooh. Where's the car? Oh, it's a nice night. I thought we'd walk. With all that precious metal. Do you think that was wise, Norman? I wish you wouldn't call me that. How are there's verb de vernier to be bought and pay nuts? Yes, 
loaf. What can I get you? Um, I... Yes, love. Are you all right? <laughs> Anything like that ever happened to you? You're doing it again. What? You know what. Oh, come on. It was only... When we started out on this, there was only one rule. Yeah, I know. We both agreed. Whatever we have, it's for now. This moment. No yesterday, no tomorrow. Just what we have right now. It was your suggestion. Remember? Suited me then? Well, suits me now. All right, all right, forget it. Something like that did happen to me, actually. That was a long time ago. Must have been about 18. I was just walking home one night. I can't even remember where I'd been. I had to go through one of those underpasses. And suddenly some guy was up behind me, had his hands over my mouth. Somehow I managed to get turned around. I remember looking at him, staring into his eyes as we struggled. Time seemed to just stop for a while. And then I remembered what my mum had always told me. If you're ever in that kind of trouble, aim for one place and one place only. So I need him as hard as I could, right in the balls. He went down. I ran off. I never caught him. Could be the same guy for all we know. T-Rex. Beg your pardon? That's where I've been that night. To see T-Rex at the Mayfair. Here, let me see that paper, would you? <laughs> you silly bastard. Do you know how much this... Norman! Are you in? Yeah, come on up, pet. The door is always open. Flog out? 600 quid's worth. No! Yeah, and look. It never got drunk. What? <laughs> I'm opening that big jar of pickles. 600 nigger. I can buy me car back. Do you live here on your own, Norman? Just about. Well, that's not on. Is it? Get the neck of that bottle freed up. Mm. One of the advantages of working with the chemists. Three cheers for you, liberator glasses. <laughs> uh. Here, pet. Let me do that.
Is that one of yours? Why? Terrible quality. You know, you can get into a heap of trouble by doing this, don't you? Are you from the Performing Rights Society? No, actually. Victor! Um, Victor, they're back! Those horrible people from the PRS! You're not listening to what I'm saying, son. I'm not from the. Victor! Victor! Victor, right? He's one of those nasty men, Victor. 
come to lock us away again. Is that right? Well, no. Hang on, guys. Just one. Victor. Kill. Kill. Shirley, it's Alan here. I'm getting a half past four train to King's Cross. Headings for Windy Nook. Yeah. Got to send somebody round there to tidy up. We're going to need a bloody big dust bump by the Oh, ask them to keep an eye out for a mobile phone, would you? Oh, listen. Uh, you'll not have heard. There's been another attack on the Dean. Go on, Go on, Take care and say, keep. Good evening, Stick. You're right. Fair to Midland. What brings you round here? I hope you're not after any blood, because it's all been done in. No, no, it's nothing like that. I've come to ask if you'd like to be my guest for dinner on Friday night. I'm having a little celebration. The Empress on Sterile Street. That's jolly decent of you, Stick. What's occurring? I'm flush. That'll do. Who's coming? Uh, me and Aileen. That's my new business partner. I'm going to ask the big fella in his new boiler. That's if I can manage to contact him. I don't suppose you've... Uh... Not for the last couple of days. Well, if you see him before I do, tell him what the plan is, would you? I'll book a table for six. Companion of your choice. Boiler would be preferable to a gadget, like. Keep the numbers even. I'll see what I can do. Hello. It's Keith Morland here. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Is uh, Emily there? Yes, sir. Goodbye. Must have his phone switched off, sir. Well, if you ever manage to contact him, I'd like a word or two. Got it. And if there's anything new on that attack in the Dean, call me at home. I want that bastard out of circulation ASAP. Will do. Good night, sir. Regarding Spender, you don't think there's any cause for concern, do you? I don't think so, sir. What makes you ask? He is under my command, Sergeant. Believe it or not. The orders he disregards are my orders. Yes, sir. Sorry. Well, I don't know. I just worry for some strange reason. About Spender? I don't think you need be, sir. He's solid. He's even been smiling a bit lately. Maybe that's why I worry. get this number? I just want to invite him for a meal. You as well, Lake. Yeah, tell him if you see him, it's, it's happening on Friday night. And I'm sorry if...
were hoping that the region could lead the rest of the country out of recession. They say there are some signs it still could, but only if the promised improvement in trade arrives without much further delay. The company's report shows that in the first six months of last year, 70 Bloody hell. 70 businesses What are you doing here? It's my house. That's Can I come in? How long's that been down there? Yonks. You mean all the time I've been scratching around trying to find the price of a pint? I've been standing on a bloody fortune. Right. New clothes. <laughs> Don't look at me. He's got some nice shirts. Where is he? Don't ask me. Hasn't been sighted for a couple of days. I rang him at his new birds and he bit me head off. Funny, aren't they? Women. Not like normal people. Hey, don't you tell him, mind. If he gets wind of this, I'll get lynched. It's not much chance of me meeting him. Not where I'm going. Where are you going? I'll be in touch. Keep the yard locked, no? Take me more to the back of the dealers. What about the rent? Deferred. Oh, Jesus. Where do you reckon them? Well, we think the Seychelles. Your mum's always wanted to go there. Be dead romantic. Be dead expensive and all. Never mind. You only do this once. If you're lucky. And your mum's worth it, eh? Lying on the beach in your bikini. Wriggling your toes in the sand. Are there any crabs out there? Sun baking down. See, gently, Lapman. Sucking great big drinks out one of them coconuts. Wish we were coming. You can't take your kids on your honeymoon, man. Why not? How'd they get the drinks inside the coconut? Shh. Not a peep. Cup of tea? No, thanks, love. I've just had one. Are you nearly ready? One minute. 30 seconds. God, why did I decide to teach? I must be mad. What's the plan? Oh, I'll be a bit late tonight, but discussing the new timetables, you know. All right. And after that, I thought I might take the girls to the multiplex. If they fancy it. Yeah? Great. Mum? Yeah? When did you get divorced? How do you mean? Well, must be papers and things, aren't they? Oh, shit. What? No, surely. What am I supposed to do? Well, I don't know. I haven't been divorced. Neither have I. Who would know? Who do we know that's... There's... You no, know, they're just separated. No, they're back together. Damn. I can't believe we don't know anybody who's been divorced. What about Tanya? Tanya? Yes, have we got a number?
fight to control. I don't know what's going down here. The guys have chased off the suspects. Six foot, skinny. About that, yeah. What do I do, sir? Any aspirins in the glove compartment? Come on, hit me! Hit me! I never gave it a thought. Well, me neither. You don't, do you, until... So what happens? I sign this. Then I sign it. There's some stuff regarding what happens to the kids. You know, they're up keeping that. Well, whichever way you want. No problem. I've written them in a company in letters setting out the details. Do you want to see it? In a minute. And then? And then I take it to the courts. We'll pay them £55. And then that's it. 55 quid? Seems kind of cheap, doesn't it? Yeah. One little scribble, and it's all finished. Well, it's never all finished, is it? I was saying it. That's that, then. Yep. Weird. Here's to happier times, eh? For both of us. For all of us. Well done today, by the way. One less nutter on the streets. Well, swimming against the tide there, but you do what you can. Well, keep doing it. I'm gonna have to go. I'm holding up a party. Well, go on then. You're free. Bugger off. And I'm glad things are working out for you. Thanks. Great, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. I'd like to propose a toast. First of all, yes to me. For the first time in my life, I've made some money. Uh, we've 
made some money, and it's completely legit. What, you've declared it to the tax people, have you? Oh, lad. Take no notice, man. You know what he's like. Mr. Misery. Bloody cheek. But also, I'd like to drink to everyone round this table. To old friends and uh, new friendships. Yeah? Or what? Yes, yes, yes to it. Cheers. 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 Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? You out. What's your beef, Pa? Is this him? Is it? All right, all right. Who is this guy? This guy? That's my wife you've been shafting, pal. How come I never saw any photos? Any clothes? They weren't around. I... They weren't around. You can't tell me you didn't have a phone, can you? No, I can't. I'm sorry about what happened in the restaurant. But at least no one got hurt. You reckon? Yeah. Well, see you around sometime, eh? No hard feelings? Spenders policing continues next Tuesday.